going on guys we're going to be talking about the big daddy of the leg exercises you're talking about your back squats right here so your back squats some people are a little bit sketchy with this one kind of worried about what it's going to do to your back kind of worried about what it could be uh doing to your hips and as a powerlifting coach i certainly believe in it quite a bit i recognize those concerns but the way that I'm going to coach it up to you today, it should help remedy a lot of those issues. And if it doesn't, we'll give you some suggestions that you can do otherwise. But nonetheless, the back squat, there is really nothing better when it comes to strengthening up the legs, giving you some more oomph, more force, generating potential out of those glutes, out of those quads, but in the hammies too. Great for opening up the hips, hip mobility, nothing like a nice full range of motion squat total body benefit when you're doing this exercise core integration is through the roof and obviously your metabolism is going to spike pretty substantially after a good set of squats so how do we properly do these so first off you need to be able to squat properly just body weight or with a goblet out in front that's super super important once you've mastered those you can check back on some old videos for that once you've mastered those then you can get into front squat and then you can get into a back squat so we're just going to do a freestyle today we're not going to go to a box or anything like that but understand that you can go to a box if you need a little bit of help with um, getting some depth understanding what good depth is and um, if you're having issues just with uh, position of the feet and the legs at the bottom of the squat too so for the back squat to set it up set your bar up about chest level, take your hands just outside of shoulder width, and you're gonna actively pull yourself underneath the bar. So when I pull myself underneath, I'm getting tight between my shoulders, and I'm screwing my hands into the bar, bringing my feet underneath the bar, and this bar is across the back of my shoulders. Could put it in a low bar position, which is a little bit lower down, across the back of the shoulder blades, or you can go in a high bar position which is a little bit higher on the shoulders. So from here, I'm gonna squeeze my butt. I'm gonna get my abs tight, pull my ribs down, chick, uh, tuck my chin, squeeze it, stand. And then I'm gonna take a step back, one step on each side. And I'm gonna set my feet up, toes pointing forward. Okay, then I'm gonna move to my knees, pull my knees out to the side, squeeze my butt, squeeze my abs, pull my ribs down, keep my shoulders back, and then tuck my chin. And that's your setup position. After you've set up, you're going to have to relax the butt, but keep the abs tight. And you're going to reach back with the back of your hamstrings. So back your hamstrings, posterior thigh. You're going to reach back with those. What that's going to do is you're going to reach back with your hips, hopefully instead of arching in the back. right? So you want to reach back with your hips. Don't arch your back to get down. So reach with the backs of your thighs. Try to get your knees out. Get to your bottom position, squeeze the butt, and drive through with the hips. So what is the bottom position going to be? The bottom position should be as low as you can while keeping your back in the right position. You should be able to keep your abs tight the whole time. So toes forward, maybe a little bit out, butt tight, abs tight, shoulders back, chin level. And then reach back with the back of your thighs, knees go out, big toe on the ground, heel on the ground, squeeze, and then drive through with those hips. So again, when you're getting into your bottom position, you want to try to keep your back in the right spot. This is not the right spot. This is not the right spot. You want to try to keep the position of your back the same as if you were standing upright with your abs tight ribs down. Right? So my position right here should be the same as when I'm in the bottom of my squat okay going back here guys when you're racking up the bar it's gonna be one step get the pins over top or sorry get the bar over top of the pins and then it's just a squat down and then you can walk out of it okay make sure that the bar is on top of the pins don't try to go one at a time make sure you're going both in at the same time time and then that way you won't clip one side and then fall down on the other okay big things that you're going to see with this guys knees might collapse in knees out fixes that 
Back my round, trying to keep the shoulders back helps with that. Back my arch, keeping the ribs down helps with that. Heels might pop up, keeping the heel midfoot loaded up. It's going to help with that. When you're pushing your knees out, sometimes your uh, inside edge of your foot will actually come off the ground. A little bit is okay. You should be able to slot a credit card under there, but it shouldn't be like a big outward position of the foot. That's not great for the foot. That's not great for stability. So you want to have that point of contact at the heel and the outside edge of the foot and then the big toe, right? Right below the big toe. So three points of contact on the ground when you're squatting. If this hurts your shoulders, right, being in that far back position, it could be that, you know, shoulders got a little bit of crankiness in there. That's totally fine. Just take it to a front squat or a goblet squat. Yeah, there's not much we can do about um, issues with the shoulder and back squatting. But if it's an issue with your back, you could try abs tight, ribs down, or go into front squat again. We'll help with that. Big thing that we'll often see people trying to fix on a squat is staying super upright. The nature of the squat is with the bar on your back, sometimes you just can't stay right upright. You'll have to arch your back to do it. So there is a little bit of that hinging motion that needs to happen and that's okay. That can happen. Just making sure that you're staying tight in here and that you don't feel a lot of load in your back, right? You should feel that you can keep your abs tight through the movement. All right, that's a back squat, guys. The big daddy of strength leg exercises for the legs for up in that power and giving you a foundation for obviously power and performance in whatever sport 